According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, trade-based money laundering, TBML, is a major source of illicit finance and one of the most frequently used methods to launder proceeds of crime. The UNODC estimates that TBML accounts for a significant proportion of the estimated $1.6 trillion in annual global money laundering proceeds. Trade-based money laundering, or TBML, is the process of disguising the proceeds of crime and moving value through the use of trade transactions in an attempt to legitimize their illicit origins. Criminals use TBML to launder the proceeds from crime or corruption, evade taxes and customs duties, avoid capital controls and sanctions, and illegitimately claim subsidies, drawbacks, or rebates. Some common TBML techniques include over and under invoicing of goods and services, multiple invoicing of goods and services, false description of goods and services, false description of the country of origin of goods and services, phantom shipments. Detecting illicit trade can be difficult. This responsibility is largely shouldered by law enforcement authorities, banks and customs authorities. In a classic Kenyan example, some transactions in FinCEN files raised suspicions around coffee and ivory trade in 2020. 24 Kenyan financial institutions were named in the reports as either beneficiaries banks or banks through which suspicious payments were made. The payments were made to a Kenyan registered company known as SMS Limited by companies and individuals from countries such as the UAE, Nigeria, United Kingdom, the British Virgin Islands and China. In the reports, the bank described SMS Limited as being in the pharmaceutical and medical products industry. However, the bank noted the companies sending the payments were in completely different lines of business, including commodities trading, vegetable oil production, and coffee exports. The COVID-19 pandemic brought to light some negative impacts of TBML, for example, rise in counterfeit goods, reduced domestic resource mobilization. As countries recover from the COVID-19 pandemic, Cabbing TBML will help improve domestic resource mobilization by increasing tax revenues, reducing counterfeit goods, and enhancing a good business environment. To mitigate the risk of trade-based money laundering, countries should establish beneficial ownership registers to curb the anonymity of criminals conducting illicit businesses. Customs authorities should have access to BO registers. Countries should implement real-time information exchange to detect suspicious activity. Banks should apply stringent customer due diligence measures. Countries should embrace the use of detailed trade-based money laundering risk assessments and use advanced IT systems to detect suspicious activity. Let's unite behind financial transparency to stop trade-based money laundering.